It's been a tricky few weeks. There are legal things happening in the background and obviously we can't say everything, but we're just towing this like tricky line of we share our life with you guys every week and we want to be honest about what's going on. But before we jump ahead of ourselves, I'm Tyler, this is Todd, and for the last few years, we've been building an off-grid home in the middle of the woods, providing our own food, water, and even our own electricity. You didn't think we were roughing it, did you? I feel cheap. <laughs> We've learned that living off-grid doesn't have to be the stereotypical cabin in the woods without running water. It can be whatever we want it to be. I have been really looking forward to starting this project. So we were originally gonna be digging up the garden and getting started on harvesting everything that we can. There's a lot of stuff that's ready, but we need to solve a very important problem first. I'm just gonna go right here. I'm really excited for it. So we moved the tool shed a little bit. We moved it about 20 feet over. And it used to be right there, like a little closer to the house. Yeah, but as the house has changed and we now have the addition, we didn't like how close it was from the view from upstairs, if that makes sense. So we moved it down a little bit and it created this nice little area for this cute little project we're gonna do today. I'm really excited. Yeah. It's like gonna finish this off. And I see some ferns over in the stump pile that are there. We're gonna transplant them and bring oh, some yeah. life to the rocks. All right, we've got a lot of lumber here. What a do you lot think? of wood. A lot of wood. Somebody order a load of wood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew you couldn't help yourself. You ready to get started? Okay, we're gonna do some quick math here. So we'll go with two, three and a half. So that puts us at seven. So we need to cut this to nine foot seven. Nine foot seven. What is it? I don't understand. Oh, we're gonna need more rock. Living on the bright side, looking for that good life. Everything is alright, riding on that golden wheel. We're gonna jump this big load. Sun is about to break. Ooh, ooh, I love the world today. Got another massive load. You ram it in there, aren't you? Oh! Oh, you oh. fell everywhere. Once I was in, I couldn't stop it. Your job is mostly daddy. I need another dump truck of rock. Can you get it for me? Oh no! What? What happened? I don't know, I was going. In the wheelbarrow, I think. Finally, went kaput. We really need a new, like, proper wheelbarrow. Well, I guess we're just gonna fill in this part of the driveway. I'll go get that part. I'm living on the bright side, looking for that good life. Everything is do you want to know the plan? Do you want me to sketch it for you? It goes like this mm -hmm. with a bottom board. Like a board connecting them? On the bottom and the top as a square frame. And then the nine foot board goes this way to connect it. And then your dividers come out in the middle. I would make a big frame. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I don't like your attitude. You can go. <laughs> you can leave. You are ruining the vibe here. Am I stifling your creativity? Yes. I'm living on the bright side, looking for that good life. Everything is alright, riding on that. So we got all the walls built. That's good. Oh no, just the frames left. These aren't the walls. But I feel like we should take lunch now. Yeah, I'm getting kind of hungry. Well, we did spend all morning figuring out what we were gonna do. We went for two walks. I'm not taking all the blame for this. You boys staying here? We're going for lunch. Oh, I love lunch. Come on, buddies. Lunch time. Come on. Come on, boys. I'm gonna. Oh, wow, it's a mess in here. Oh, yeah. Look. Constant, hey? Bomb.com. Bomb.com. All right, what are you thinking? Um, do you want to mix up a salad and I'll kind of tidy up a little bit? Sure. Oh, pencil. I was just gonna say. Yeah, okay. Let's um, divide and conquer, as we always okay. say. 
mess just keeps spreading everywhere, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We met at midday Halfway up the mountain Unbelievable how quick it gets messy, right? Hey? Oh yeah. I think like I love this space. It's it's probably my favorite place I've ever lived, but I'm not going to miss living in one room. That's the thing. Everything is right here. Like our office, our bedroom, our living room, our kitchen, like it's really like it's a, a sex dungeon. Oh, I don't know what to need all this one. This is a lot. It's a salad kit. Yeah, but I filled up on water. I'm stuffed. <laughs> Come on boys, we're going inside. It's such a beautiful day, isn't it, hey? Are you happy? Are you boys happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're so cute. They're both so sweet. You're just the cutest puppies. You're probably the most handsomest boys ever. Are you my good big buddy? It's hard to believe you're 10. Believe, huh? You're so handsome. All right, boys, we were gonna eat our lunch. I like how you said that this project was only gonna be an hour, two max. Things take what they take. You know, we thought one day we'd have the house craned into place, the next we'd have stairs. That's that didn't happen. happen. Then we said, okay, well, we'll get stairs and the house will finish right up. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. I told you it was going to take an hour or two to do the compost bin, and that didn't happen. I think we just need to learn to, like, chill the f*** out and just ride this washing machine because we're on spin cycle right now. I mean, you just got to wait till we get to the point where the nice music plays. <laughs> so what are, what are you thinking? I think if we both get up there and focus, like we know we get the nine foots across the back, line it up. Yeah. Do the sides. I think it takes as long as it takes. It's a, it's a full day project. I can, I've accepted it. That's okay. Well, it has to be. Yeah. <laughs> Too late now. Are you almost done? I'm getting there. It's a lot. I'm so tiny. You have one bite left. I can't walk and chew. That's how you choke. Pull them, pull them. Come on, boys. Got everything? Mm hmm. Come on, Eddie. Can I do this? Yeah. Hey. Let's do it. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Don't worry about lining up right now. I'm just gonna get this side on, and then we'll line that one up, okay? Okay. Say less, feeling so blessed. Everything's easy like a Sunday morning. Yeah, bet, thrift store best. Dress to impress, make them say, oh, Lordy. Oh, oh, I got a swag in the step. Oh, oh, I got the joy in the flex. Oh, oh. Makes sense. The day just keeps getting better and better. So good vibes, it'll matter the weather. The day just keeps getting better and better. Are we ready to flip? Yep. All right, let's flip it. We're going to do the back. And then from there, we can start to build the front, and we'll know what we have left. To Would it be easier for the back to flip it down and then do them all like that? I'm worried it would get heavy, but if you think it's easier, I'm good with that. If you want to Actually, no, we can just go from behind. Because it's big enough that air will flow, small enough that like shit won't fall out. Yeah. What do you think? It's pretty cute. What do you think? Pretty cute. I'm friggin' tired though. It's been a lot for you. It's been an emotional ride, I feel. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's not like perfectly level. That rock is dangerous there. Oh yeah. Did it corrugated. I'm seven and five eighths. We're up by a half inch. I think it's fine. Okay. Today just keeps getting better and better. So I look it the way. Today just keeps getting better and better. So we have it pretty much built. It looks really good. But as you can see, we don't have boards that are gonna go in the front. They need to slide in. 
The sun really took a beating on us. We put sunscreen on twice. I'm I feel sober. So yeah, like we've done as much as we can for today. We're gonna get lumber in the morning and. I think it looks pretty yeah. cute though. Yeah, let's go hang out at the dome. Hey, buddy. Hey. Do you wanna go hang wanna out? Go at the dome? All right, let's go. I got thoughts that creep in every day. Things that go bump in the night, but you say I'm beside you. Well, my entire motivation is like one out the window. Got none? None? Need a nap. Whoa. I'm sad. I'm not going anywhere. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know why I'm surprised. It started raining again. This has been the worst summer ever. All it does is rain, hey? Every single day, it feels. It's frustrating. We get into a project, we get into a groove, and she, she just another... jumped from there? Oh yeah, she's getting good. You're getting good, hey Might squirrel. have to enroll her in some gymnastics. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> anyway, we've just been binging Netflix, to be honest. That's all we've done. We're making pizza for dinner. It smells so good. Oh, I'm ready. Look how good it looks. I'm ready for it. Um, not just pizza, actually. I should show you this. So we've made a whole pizza and then a whole garlic fingers. Can I touch this? Is it hot? It's Oh yeah, warm. it's pretty hot. Look how freaking good that looks. Ooh, it's gonna look better when it's plated. I'm sitting on my belly. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. But anyway, this is what we're doing tonight. We're gearing up for a movie night, and that's thanks to our friends at Surfshark, the sponsor of today's video. We've been longtime users of Surfshark from when we used to live in an RV and we're traveling all around North America. We wanted to make sure that we were secure no matter where we were connecting to the internet. Now we mainly use it to change our IP address because when you connect with Surfshark, you're not using your physical location. You're connecting somewhere else in the world, protecting your identity along the way. There are actually a lot of reasons why masking your IP address online is a good idea, whether it's from just the security aspect of it, getting better deals on travel, or using it for what we normally do and getting access to libraries that you wouldn't normally have access to because it looks like you're in another country. It's a completely legit and above board thing to do. Right now, it looks like we're in the UK because we're binging shows that are only available on Netflix in the UK. It is the most convenient thing in the world and it costs less than the price of a cup of coffee per month. You can head to the link in the description box down below and get an exclusive deal from Surfshark when you use our code. How's that pizza coming? We're just about done. Well, we are done. I just have to put it on the plate. Oh, I cannot wait for this. Oh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> I figured there's no point doing smaller slices like we know we're coming. No. Like, this isn't see in the morning. <laughs> this probably whole thing won't see the morning, let's be honest. Yeah. I'm actually really excited to finish that tomorrow, though. It's going to be good. You ready, though? Yeah. We got an early morning. I'm going to go get lumber in the morning, so yeah. we're going to dig into this pizza. I'm going to tackle the landscaping while you're doing that. It's going to be good. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer kind of day. All right. I'll catch you guys in the morning. When the sun's on the path, sinking low, I'll strike a light in the night so you know I'm beside you. I'm not going anywhere. I headed into the city first thing this morning to start picking up supplies. While Ty went to the hardware store, I got to work on digging out all the gravel beneath the compost bins. While falling asleep last night, I read that having organic material underneath them is better for the worms, so pulling back the gravel and replacing it with soil seemed like a good call. Tracking down the correct size cedar planks took way longer than I thought. I ended up going to three different stores. It turns out, with five quarter thick boards rather than the one inch, it was a lot less common. Yes, that is the price per board. Yikes. While I waited for Ty to get back with material, I thought I'd get started on all the ground prep around this area. As you know, I love to dress up the culverts so they look a little more elegant. I dug up some extra slate that we had kicking around and I started stacking it and wrapping it around the culvert to just really finish it off. 
Realizing the road was a little narrow here, I hopped in the tractor to widen it slightly and then started filling in this area with soil so I have a little accent garden. With how well all the flower gardens are doing that we've planted over the years, I can now just steal free flowers for this new area. Over time, all these plants will fill in this embankment and wrap around these rocks. Now that I was finally loaded up with the cedar, it's time to head home and finish up this project. So thankfully we did the bulk of the work yesterday and I mean, you were really busy today, but by the time I got home with the lumber, wouldn't you know it, it started raining again. <laughs> just brutal. That's how the summer goes here, but yeah. I think it turned out really nice. We're just staying in the house, keeping dry. Hiding out from the rain. Yeah, but we'll take you over and show you. But we were just chatting and we realized that we haven't updated as to why we haven't been progressing on the shipping container house over the last couple of weeks. And we figured we'd bring you up to speed as much as we can. It's been a tricky few weeks. There are legal things happening in the background and obviously we can't say everything but we're just towing this like tricky line of we share our life with you guys every week and we want to be honest about what's going on yeah so i think it all comes down to respect and how you treat others and unfortunately there were some relationships involved in this project that were not being respectful and not treating others well and then yeah. that was boiling into frustrations and ultimately was what was paying the sacrifice was the quality and workmanship that was being put into the house yeah so at the end of the day like this is our real life like even though you may be watching this on a tv this isn't a tv set right like we sleep here we live here we make our meals here and to have somebody in your space where you don't necessarily feel respected or there's like a lot of tension and animosity for us like this is our home and nothing else matters and when you combine that with all of the delays that this project has had you guys must know like that's not all on us and we're just kind of done making excuses for people like this is our home this mm -hmm. is our life and and I'm tired of it. Yeah, and if there's going to be delays, I want it to be because of us. Like, I'd rather yeah. work, I'd rather move at a slower but consistent pace and keep the engine chugging yeah. than the stopping and starting. So we're just waiting a few more weeks. Everything should be yeah. behind us. We'll hopefully be able to get, like, completely fill you in soon. It's just been a tricky thing to navigate. So. Yeah, so anyway, I think the rain has stopped yeah. enough that we can go out and give a tour which I'm really excited to show how it all came together. It's, especially, pre it's pretty neat. Yeah, and I feel like you thought I was losing my mind when we were first getting started, so the <laughs> yeah. fact that it came together is pretty awesome. <laughs> you going down first, buddy? Careful down the stairs, Tolly, that's what they call me. Mm -hmm. You wanna lead the way, buddy? All right, let's go check this out. On our way to the compost bin, are we, squirrel? <laughs> She's such a little adventure kitty. So this is the final product and I am in love with it. She's gorgeous. Oh yeah. Plus once we get this painted, oh, it's yeah. gonna look really nice with the cedar. So we went with a three bin composter. So the reason for that is we produce a large amount of compost here with all the gardens, our food scraps, just all of that. So three bin is going to help us because it allows us to make more higher quality compost quicker. So, in bin one, this is where we'll be mixing all of our stuff, and when the pile gets to the top, so three feet by three feet, we move it into bin two. This helps us with aerating, it gives us a chance to make sure that the moisture content of the compost is okay, and then it also just helps us make sure that that temperature and heat is being spread evenly through the pile. This was really confusing for me. Like, at first, I thought, why are we building, like, such a big compost bin? I thought we were just going to put stuff in here and in here, but now it kind of makes sense. When we break off our tomato vines in a few weeks, when the tomatoes are ready, we'll be able to put them in here. After a few months, when they rot, we turn it over, it goes in here, and then eventually this bin is our soil bin. It, like, yeah, I... And like, you were right. I was wrong. I want to, oh, yeah, I, we knew that. I had no question about that. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is too, with it, with a one bin compost aisle, all the compost, like you'd have all your stuff going on down here, but then as you're adding on to it, you're not really mixing that compost and you've got stuff that's partially broken down with stuff that hasn't even started the, po broke the process. So that's what's nice about this. We can have two distinct piles going 
at the different stages, which yeah. is huge. Plus, it just turned out so beautiful. Yeah. Like, this cedar was another good call by well, Todd. I wanted to cheap out and do pine, but this will last forever. So. Forever. Yeah. It won't break down. That's what's good, because the pine eventually would in five to ten years, and we'd be yeah. doing this all over again. Also, this retaining wall that Todd built, you can really see it. Like, I'm glad that it rained today in a way. Look at the river flowing underneath this ground. Like, it's just wild. Uh, well, we're on a hill. That's yeah, I, I mean, it does make yeah. sense, but without that, all of that water would have ended up right here. Now this is like solid ground. Yeah, plus I love the way these boulders all turned out. So these, we've been saving them as we've been excavating, running our power lines and our water lines and digging the pond. And we saved them all here, not knowing what to do. And then we ended up just filling it in with some gravel. And I think it turned out really cool. Like it yeah. built this elevated area for it. It's cool. Yeah, it, love it. it's going to make even more sense too. the greenhouse is gonna be right here in the future, so it's the perfect location for it. Yeah. But I, I'm gonna chalk this one up for a win. Yeah, yeah. we need that. <laughs> yeah, we do need it. So I guess what we're gonna do now is like continue figuring out what we're working on behind the scenes and stuff, and we're gonna try and keep you guys as up to date as we can. We'll share on Instagram and wherever else you can find us, but yeah, just bear with us the next few weeks. We'll. We'll be here when we can. We'll get back in the swing of things, but for now, I'm gonna go find some stuff to put in the compost bin. Oh yeah, we got lots of stuff. There empty. Maybe we can do the potatoes now. Yeah, do you wanna get to those? Yeah. All right, I'll go get a shovel. <laughs> all right, we will catch up with you guys soon. Love you all, have a Bye. great week.